Right, uh, my name's uh, Wilson Nager, uh, working with kit exporters uh, in the outgrower department. When I say outgrower, I mean working with uh, different teams, uh, different areas, uh, targeting one thing. Now, uh, in the outgrower, uh, what we do basically is to contract farmers. When we contract them, we give them details of contract. Uh, we tell them their role as a grower. We also tell them our role as a, an exporter. Uh, in the process of recruiting someone, one, you need to do what we call site risk assessment. You go to the ground, do a survey on the area that you intend to work on. And the main thing that we look at are, one, accessibility. Is that area where you intend to do that project accessible? So that you don't start something somewhere and uh, by the time it is ready, you may not be able to access the produce and collect as required. Second, you look at water. Is that client having a reliable water source and adequate for that job? So that you don't start, then in the course you get stuck, you cannot proceed because simply water is not adequate. Along with that, you look for space. Our market spreads throughout the year, year in, year out. And what we intend to do is to keep it running. So you have to factor that farmer coming in, whether he has space where when you people agree, he'll be able to plant consistently as agreed so that you don't break in between. Because if we break in between, then it will get to a point we'll not be able maybe to sustain our orders and our markets. And then eventually it will collapse. Other than those, we factor labor. Where we won't start that job, are there labor who will be able to do that job when it is ready for harvesting? Because if you do all, everything right, then when it comes to harvesting, you miss people to harvest, then you shall have done a lot of zero work. Along with that, we have to also factor the security. You've seen him doing a lot of good fence, the chain links. The crop has to be protected because if you just do it in an open place and leave it that way, you may wake up in the morning and you realize there's nothing. So that effort is wasted. Now, if all these are factored and I'm comfortable that this farmer can now start with us, then he's now free to go through that signing and we factor, we file. Now, if you look at what is here at the moment, from when he started, fencing started somewhere late, around one month ago. If you look at uh, the land preparation, plowing, tilling, bed making, before planting is also al almost another one month. Basically, he has taken like two months to fence the place, do the arrowing, do the installation for piping, water system and the rest then come now to actual planting like i've said this crop is two weeks old and the beans in this area based uh, on uh, the temperatures actually it takes eight weeks to be ready from the time of planting to time of harvest if all works well as designed all the preparations, all applications. Mm -hmm. 
acre. This one is slightly more than one acre, almost 0 0.5. An acre we expect to give us an average of four to five tons. This will depend on how the grower himself or herself will manage the crop. Still, it can go more than that because we have other areas getting more than five plus. So even this one, he can still get more than five, five uh, tons in an acre. That five tons is not coming uh, in one at once. That is accumulative cages from the day one of harvesting to the last harvest, so that he can consider that area or unit closed. On uh, other areas like uh, during harvesting other agronomic uh, practices we have team going around just to ensure the correct thing is done at the right time when i say so i mean land preparation spray is done fertilizer application even harvesting the graders and the person even doing the spray we have to take them through over what we need because by the end of the day what we are factor, uh, factoring is safety. If you do all right and then you sell a contaminated food, then that job or effort is wasted. So the reason as to why we are all over and every time coming in, going out, is to ensure he gets right from the beginning to the end. He's still working on other things along like uh, maybe in the next few days if you come you will find a, a structure there called uh, called grading shed that is where when this produce is ready when the ladies are through with harvesting they can take there for some pre-packing ahead of truck if they are done with that then in the evening that produce is expected to be carried to the park house where final touches will be done. By data, a cost of one acre, if I assume that uh, you start from zero, you identify a place, you do the fencing, you do the plowing, you do the piping, fittings and the rest, the average cost should run between 100 and 130. That is for installation, blah, 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 including some inputs, seeds and the rest. What is left out could be the cost during harvesting. But if you work with that, we are nearly somewhere there. Well, uh, if you look at uh, that tonnage we expect, even if we were to work with the lowest that I've given as uh, four tons, and our unit price as per that contract ranges from 60 minimum to 100. The reason for that range is market varies. There are times that things may not move so well. 
there are times you can stagger a bit and there are times that you will realize what is coming is more than what is expected. So at that point you will find it is too high. So if you work with maybe 60 on the lower, then you take 4 turns multiply by that 60 you will get something closer to 240. 240, if you look at what I gave out as uh, the cost, including harvesting and the rest, maybe it comes up to another 220, nini up to, sorry, it was 130, you add other related costs and miscellaneous, you come up to 180. 180, if you get the difference between 240 and 80 and 180 that's uh, something like 60 so if you are able to make a difference of 50 per acre that is ideal but you have an opportunity of making the margin big you have the opportunity of making the margin big that is doing the right thing the right time without no delay you get the right quality you get the right spec you are perfect that margin can be big